Kinesiology Taping to Inhibit the Obliques. So let's look at the anatomy and physiology of the obliques. We have both the external and the internal. Looking at the external obliques, they originate on the lower eight ribs and insert downwards towards the anterior iliac crest and also into the linea alba or that aponeurosis connective tissue in the midline of the abdominum. In terms of action, they work with the internal obliques to lateral bend, but they also rotate to the opposite side. They're involved in flexion of the vertebral column and also compression of the abdominal contents. Looking at the internal obliques, these originate at the lateral and gynal ligament and the iliac crest and all the way around to the thoracolumbar fascia, so they originate on the pelvis. They then move upwards, inserting into the surface of the lower three ribs and also the linea alba or that aponeurosis in the central midline. Actions again working with the external obliques to laterally bend but they rotate to the same side. They also flex the vertebral column and compress the abdominal contents. So although very similar to the external obliques and also performing some of the same actions as the wider abdominal group, you can see even from the illustration how lack of movement or congruency between those various abdominal muscles can cause problems, especially pulling on the midline. So why might we want to inhibit the obliques? Well, sometimes they become overactive and this can happen where some of the other abdominals aren't as strong or maybe not engaging quite as well. They end up doing more in terms of some of the overall actions. Sometimes we can see that as a visual gripping at the ribs or on that border with the rectus abdominis. And so sometimes that can play a role in abdominal dysfunction. So things like pressure management or diastasis recti. So this gripping effect or this overdominance can sometimes play a role where we're getting an inhibition or lack of activation of some of the other abdominals like the rectus abdominis. So we're going to look at a very simple taping here to inhibit the obliques. Lots of other options available. It's all about your treatment plan. And if you've identified these overdominant, over tight obliques as part of what you're trying to resolve, then that taping is very useful. So in terms of other tapings, other options, it depends on your wider goal. So for example, in the case of um, a diastasis client, you might also want to activate the rectus abdominis if that helps them to engage and perform the movement or exercises that they need to as part of their home care. So let's take a look. So this client on assessment really is gripping with the external obliques at the top part um, with the rectus abdominis and that's why, where they're suffering from a diastasis. So here I'm going to anchor its inhibition towards the pelvis, which is its insertion point. Now I'm going to ask my client to rotate to the same side, which is actually stretching the external obliques, light tension on the tape, and then anchor with no tension. So let's watch that again. It's an inhibition, so I'm going to anchor at the insertion, which is at the pubis. Let's watch that again. So inhibition, I'm going to anchor at the pubis, no tension on the tape. I'm going to place a light amount of stretch on the tape, it's an inhibition, onto stretched tissue. So a stretch for the external obliques is rotating to the same side and rub the tape well down to stick. And then simply anchor with no tension inhibition of the obliques.